hey guys uh, i'm back again here with another video uh, in this video we'll be looking at the two input nand gate uh, we'll be looking at the two input nand gate all right like you can see two input nand gate then we get the truth table based on on the results we get so um i believe uh you guys are familiar uh you're familiar with this from your previous uh, from the previous video of a nand gate so basically uh i didn't have um uh, a nand gate a simos so i decided to use a nand gate i used i decided to use an and gate and with an inverter okay so i decided to use um a 4081 and 7404 so you might be privileged that in the lab they're going to give you guys uh, a nand gate simos so i'm not sure but if you happen not to get the the nand gate simos then you have to make a plan you have to improvise by providing the nand gate and an inverter okay so this is my so this is my pin configuration for the NAND gate. For those of you guys who've watched the previous video, this shouldn't be a problem. Okay, I'll explain this. Then for the inverter, the 7404, okay? This is, it looks like something like this, okay? So these are the pin configuration. Like you can see here, we have um, our VCC on pin 14 and um, our ground on pin seven. Okay, uh, in this case, I'll be using pin one and two. You can use any pin, you can use pin nine and eight. Okay, it doesn't really matter. So this is, um, this is a kind of, um, I don't know, should it be a five core or something? Because there are five of those uh, inverter chips in here. Like you can see, this is one, this is two, okay, this is three, this is four, this is five, this is six. So the way you count the pin configuration is basically the same, one up until seven, okay, then from eight up until 14, okay. So now, I think that's enough information. So when you're done with your, when you're done with your, and gate so you just attach what an inverter and basically the way the inverter works is you just take okay you put in uh, you send in you take the output from your NAND gate you feed it into the first the input one of the inverter of the 7404 okay then you take the output to the LED and in series with your resistor then you take it to the ground then you ground this pin 7 and provide power to pin 14. Okay, so uh, this is our two table. This is what we're going to be filling up. So a NAND gate uh, A times B, A1 times B1 should give you Q. Okay, so it's the NAND gate operation, uh, the two table. Then the pin configuration, you can see both of them. Pin configuration and the pin configuration. All right, so it's very much easy. Okay, it's very much easy. So you have to, you have to learn, you have to make like, you have to uh, practice this over and over. Okay, get used to it, it's not difficult. All right, so let me explain to you again on how the circuit works. Okay, so, so um, guys, um, I don't know etn 2b students uh you might be privileged to go to the lab or you will go to the lab actually i don't know when uh, your lecturer will communicate this to you uh, i think in due course and a date will be given and, and, and groups will be created so you'll need to go to the lab and individually you might be needed to build the circuits and 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 and, and show them how they work okay so um i'd explained this before with my nand gate so i'll just do it again so this is our two inputs here uh with so we're providing uh, an input we're controlling the input with the push button 
like you see they are normally open okay you can read more on normally open and normally close or short circuit and open circuit this is usually this is uh an initial state or the initial state is it's a, it's a open circuit so when you pull it down it's a short circuit when you pull this down it's a short circuit okay so this is my um 4081 this is the, the AND gate this is uh, my inverter the 7404 okay so this is um this one is the first input which goes which goes to this orange uh, led okay and now goes to this uh, resistor and goes to the ground then these are just connections that provide uh, both uh, rails the ends of the rails with power okay it's like there was some um, kind of uh, default effective fault there so i rectified that so and the second input it's pin 2 with the white cable pin 2 goes to uh, the white led okay then it takes it out with the resistor uh just to clarify something i hope you guys know the polarity of the led this is an example of an led this is a white led so the the longer uh, longer leg or oh, okay the longer leg is the positive and the shorter leg is the negative or the one if you check right inside the lead you see the one with the bigger head okay inside there it's the, it's the negative the smaller head is the positive but if you're looking in terms of the length of the legs of or the uh, or the pins of the led the one with the longer leg it's the positive and the shorter one is the negative All right so uh, be careful when you're doing your uh, when you're building it don't interchange otherwise it wouldn't work okay so like i was saying i'd explain the input various inputs so um i'll be explaining now the the push button so this two this uh white cables you can, you can see here goes to input one and two okay this one and this one goes to input one and two of the 4081 then now it takes it to the two uh, it takes it to the two push buttons so and the, and the other side of the push button taken to supplied with a five volt okay or to the to the live like the vcc then um uh sorry about that i think my multimeter was kind of <laughs> all right so now uh this is our pull down resistors the same like for and gate okay then uh this is our neg our negative the ground for the and uh for the nand gate for the and gate um i see that's the 4081 then this is the vcc okay the red cable vcc which goes to the ground which goes to the the live okay so we're powering up then we're taking pin 14 to live and pin uh, 7 to the ground same too with the 7404 i see okay pin 7 goes to the ground then pin 14 goes to vcc okay so now we take pin 3 of our AND gate which is the 40 4081 the output which is pin 3 we send it to the input of our 7404 okay then that is on pin 1 as our input as our input so now whatever comes in is inverted okay that's the logic behind this so whatever comes out here it's being inverted to this so now uh, our pin 2 now is taking uh, the the led the orange led um is now uh, taken from uh pin 2 then and sent to pin 2 in series with the resistor okay pin 2 in series with this resistor to the ground and that uh that's basically how your circuit should should look like so now you need to power it up using your rps or your 5 volt you can get a 5 volt or something i don't know what you're using so in the lab you might be using this okay this is just um this one is just uh, a signal generator okay function generator 
okay then this is our just our oscilloscope we'll be using this in the later feature so for now we're just using the power supply so i'm going to turn on my power supply now okay so i'm using a 5 volt so i'm just going to give it an input okay enable the the, the output of the power supply here so uh, as you can see initially uh, and when no input is being given to our circuit okay to our ICs we have a corresponding output which theoretically it, it's appropriate it's correct okay so we can conclude that when not nothing or no input is sent then we have an output okay when no input like you can see a b when no input then we have a corresponding we have a corresponding output so we can say uh, our one is here right okay then if we have one input we expect to have another input an output okay either of them we should have an output so if you pull down each of them as you can see if you pull them down still you have a corresponding output okay so the very first one when either of them is on you should get an an output as per as per the the second so you get an output here okay uh, beg your pardon then the other uh, push button okay let's see we get an output okay so our output is one then now we should know that when both input are high when there is uh, input one and two is high then we should have nothing at the output okay so we'll simultaneously pull down the two push button then we see what happens at the output okay let's go okay perfect so our circuit works as required all right so it's very basic okay it's a very basic circuit so we expect to have a zero here on expect to have a zero here like this okay all right so that's uh that's it about uh, a NAND gate so if you don't understand anything you're free to send us an email or you can get the whatsapp group which has been created you can send us a whatsapp message in this regard okay and uh, i will see you guys in the next in the next video uh, i think our next video will be on the, um, our next video will be as per the i think that's all for the first part we'll be implementing a flip-flop and sr and sr large as you can see so uh watch out for the next video which is going to be um an sr large okay as such using an or gate so okay see you guys in next in the next video right bye